what's up guys i got another 1x player video for you um today i wanted to show you guys some benchmarks and i have the samsung evo 256 gig i'm not sure if this is gonna focus on this real let me see here okay there we go samsung evo 256 gig and uh this only gave me about 32 32 megabytes per second and I wanted to see what the the new SD card will give us which is the extreme micro SD which should be a little bit faster unless the uh, SD slot is data capped so I want to make a video on that and uh, and then compare it to the other speed and uh, we'll see what happens here Let's rip into it like a savage, even though I have scissors somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Free download. Okay. All right. So this is the first Samsung Extreme I got. I got a really small one just for the purposes of this video. I can open it sometime this year. Didn't know it was going to be this much of a problem. Teach me how to open an SD card pack. Because this thing is a pain in the ass. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. There it is. Okay, so we got the extreme 32 gig. So let's see what kind of speeds we're going to be getting from this. And then I might as well do benchmarks on everything else so you guys can see the internal hard drive and whatnot. But let's start with this. So it instantly comes up. Let's open up Crystal Disk and see what we're going to be facing here. <clears throat> okay, so I believe that's F. Let's double check. SD is E, okay. So let's let's put it on E and let's run it. So in the interest of time, since this usually takes a little bit of time, I'm just gonna pause the video and we're gonna get to the results. All right, guys, we got the finishing results and results are pretty horrible. I was getting better reads on the Samsung Evo well more or less the same except for the reads here the reads here say 20 megabytes per second and then 29 megabytes per second which is really horrible uh, for the write as the highest I guess um, and uh, yeah like I said I was getting actually better reads I was getting like 30 and 30 on both sides with the Samsung Evo 256 gigs so Obviously, something's wrong, um, and I think it has to do with the port, but uh, getting an extreme, not going to make a difference. I just wanted to make a video to show that. Um, the reason why I showed you guys me opening it, because I wanted to show you, is a brand new thing I just bought, and it was going to be the first time I've seen these results, so I was really hoping for a little bit faster speed, but uh, yeah, well, you guys see the results here. Um, now, granted, maybe this is a bootleg. I don't know. Maybe it sucks. Um, got it from Amazon. Who knows? Maybe it's maybe it's a fake. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in my gaming rig while we do the benchmark on the Samsung Evo, so I can show you guys what that runs, and we're gonna see if there's a difference. If there is a difference, that means that this uh, SD card slot is capped in some type of way, which means uh, we're not gonna get anything better than. 20 to 30 megabytes per second anyway so give me one second <clears throat> scroll over to my gaming rig here and uh, while that's running the benchmark over here on my gaming rig I'm gonna do a benchmark on the Samsung Evo for you guys to see for yourselves I don't know if you guys were able to hear me, but while that's doing a benchmark on my gaming rig, I'm going to run the uh, benchmark on the Samsung Evo here. 
so you guys can see the same results I saw when I ran it on the Samsung Evo. And then, since we're doing speed read and write benchmarks here, to begin with, I might as well show you guys the, in case you're curious, the SSD speed that's inside and a USB 3.1 drive that I have up there as well. Okay, so let's open Crystal Disk Manager and our SD card is on drive E again. So we're just going to run a benchmark on drive E. So that's a 239 gigabytes because a 256 gig uh, SD card. So let's run that benchmark. And then I'm going to pause it, let it do its thing, and we're going to come back with the results. All right, guys, as you can see, uh, the benchmark is not completely done. But as you can see, there is some kind of read and write data cap because we got 30 megabytes per second write speed and 29 megabytes per second read speed over here and that's on the Samsung uh, Evo this is supposed to be faster and we were getting worse speeds but anyways it has something to do with the slot I just wanted to let you guys know um, that's the purpose of this video to show that there's some kind of cap on the uh, on the slot for read and write speed or maybe it's just a really old I don't know, TF card reader or something like that but now, if we go over to my, we go over to my uh, gaming laptop, and hopefully it doesn't stop the video undocking this phone from my stand. Try to do it without pressing any buttons accidentally. <sighs> so, all right, so we scroll over to my gaming rig here, okay, and that's plugged in directly. This is the same uh, sand disk that I just opened up in the slot there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's the same SD card slot. It's nothing special. And I'm getting 96 and 64. So, if you're getting this for some kind of SD card reading speed, I mean, if you're planning to put a whole bunch of, I don't know, games on here on SD card that require fast reading and write speed, it's not going to happen. But... I wouldn't say give up just yet because uh, we do have two Thunderbolt 4 ports up top on the USB 4, um, which should not be data capped at all. So if we can get some kind of dock, the way to resolve this is if we can get some kind of dock to go into the Thunderbolt port that has, um, remember that's 40 gigabytes per port. So if it has the uh, um, SD card slots on there, you can probably get the full amount of speed. I mean, obviously that depends on the dock, but it shouldn't cap you because Thunderbolt is 40 gigabytes, so it should be using some of that bandwidth. So that's probably going to be the next thing I do for the next video in reference to these benchmarks. But as you guys can see, it is capped and uh, you can't get over a certain amount of speed from this SD card slot. I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, okay, so now let's do a benchmark on, so what I got here, what I got here is the, uh, sorry, sorry for the blurriness guys, my cameras, a phone goes in and out of focus at random and there's really no setting for it. All I can do is tap the screen and hope that it sharpens up. Okay, so this is the, SanDisk um, 3.1 drive, okay, and uh, it's a 512 gigabyte. So let's do a benchmark on this. I've already done it and shared it with the. Uh, oh, goes in this way. Yeah, goes in backwards. Worth noting. Um, I've already done it and shared it with with the Discord, but uh, I wanted to since we're already doing benchmarks here. I wanted to make a video specifically for that and just, you know, show people that's not in the Discord in case you want to uh, get this, what you can expect from the 3.1. So let's run that benchmark. So that would be, that would be drive F, 460 gigs. Let's change it to drive F. Oops. Drive F. Okay. Let's start that up. And we'll get back to this. 
in a moment. Okay, so as you guys can see, the speeds on the USB 3.1 uh, stick are also not that great, but they are still better uh, in some ways. Uh, in terms of read speed, it's, it's better than the uh, SD card, but this could also be capped, so I'm not 100 percent sure I just wanted to show you guys the results so the point of this video is not to complain about the device but basically let you guys know what you're gonna get like just show you guys the results and uh, you know and compare it to if I plugged it into my gaming laptop just to see if there's any major difference so what I'm gonna do now is plug this into my gaming laptop and see if there's a difference could be not I don't know if there is then that'll pretty much prove that the uh, USB port here is also capped which kind of sucks and uh, right now while that's doing that's benchmark we're gonna do the benchmark on the SSD inside so you guys can know what kind of results to expect okay so the SSD is uh, C drive and D drive. I believe they're both the same. C and D are both the SSD, I believe. Let's go to, uh, there's only one SSD in there, I believe. Uh, I haven't opened this thing up, by the way. Um, I'm just going based on what, uh, let me see. Going based on what I remember being here, yeah. So C and D are both partitions on the first disk, which means that um, this is all one SSD, the uh, terabyte. But but they split it to 500 and 500, and they have some partitions on there. So we should get the same results for C and D. So let's do that benchmark on C, and I will pause it, give you guys the results, and then we're going to switch over to my gaming uh, computer and see if there's a difference in the 3.1 drive speed hold on all right guys the SSD results are pretty much in and as you can see no issues with the SSD that's inside it's read and write speeds are pretty nice um, like I said I haven't opened this device so I don't know what brand and whatnot and uh, but um, as you can see we're not gonna have an issue running anything on the SSD that's built in so the other one had some time to do the read and write speed on my gaming laptop so let's switch over there hopefully again I don't press any buttons by accident switch over here and the results are also not that great but um, better than it was on the 1x player what does this mean um, I don't know. I, I can't speculate on that because I'm not that much of a tech guy, but maybe, you know, somebody that's watching would have some kind of idea on to why we're getting significantly less speeds on the uh, 1X player for each of the devices that we're doing the scan on uh, versus this laptop. Um, I'm guessing it has something to do with some kind of speed cap or data cap or something, but... I mean, you know, you guys can tell me. And uh, so I think that the resolution to this would be some kind of dock. Now, I was looking at a few here. It would have to be, I mean, I would say it would have to be a dock that attaches to the device, but it's not too heavy. Like, I was looking at this. It would have to be something like this. But see, this is for a Mac, and it has two ports there. So ideally we would want something that has one port that could use the 40 gigabyte speed and then have a lot of different attachments on top and not too heavy. It doesn't have to have a thousand attachments. We just want probably a couple of USB 3.0 ports in case you guys want to expand the storage and not be capped because Thunderbolt is not capped. That's 40 gigabytes. So, um, and we don't know if it, if the first port is capped with is, is sharing um bandwidth with the second port so you know it and it's not that close to each other so this wouldn't work at all but you guys get my idea we would need something like this now i haven't had a chance to uh 
to look hard, but if you guys have any suggestions, I'm happy to uh, order it up and uh, test that out and see if we get better results when we're dealing with uh, the Thunderbolt port, or maybe it won't work. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not too, I'm not as tech savvy as a lot of you people, so maybe you can give me some ideas, you know? Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you guys that benchmark and those options. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you have any suggestions on um, maybe some Thunderbolt docks that attach to maybe one port that's not too heavy. I didn't want to get something like this where it's, it's just a wire hanging off of your device. We want to get something that maybe attaches to the top. And once it attaches to the top, you know, maybe one port, even if it covers, you know, this the the three point the 3.1 port, we can probably still, you know, have a maybe even even it can even cover as much as well, I don't want it to cover the charging port. Maybe at least one of the uh Thunderbolt ports. We don't want it to cover the headphone jack either, because you you know some of you guys might use that. So there's a very small window of space. And I don't even know if they make attachments like that, because most of the time I was seeing attachments that have this wire sticking out and then it's a little dock like that. So I don't know guys, you guys let me know. Um uh thanks for watching and we'll get back to the next video later.